Hi everybody and welcome to Silky Intuitive. This is a weekly reading for my Sagittarian friends. For June 11th through the 18th, the entire week, a few days in one direction or the other, but we're going to try to isolate somebody within this next period of seven, eight, nine days. First, if you want a reading meant just for you, the contact information is here. At the end of this reading, I've got a love reading going for the week, for your sign, Sagittarius. Go check it out. Now, I've got an oracle book, one of my favorite possessions given to me by my beautiful daughter. And we're going to take a look at what the energy for the week is. Sagittarius. It talks to the palm reader right here. And it says, the Saturn, the middle finger this one here, indicates a guilty conscience. Uh, you need to apologize or someone needs to apologize to you. Interesting. So we're looking to see where there's an apology needed here. I'm being pulled here. And this deck will be for our... This deck will be for our love reading. And here we go, Sagittarius. I'm being guided to a rough shuffle. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, that's where I'm from. One, two. Three, four, I need two more. One, and two. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the chariot. Movement. Did you move away from someone and take, take their uh, peanut butter by mistake? I don't know what the beef is, but somebody here is feeling like somebody left uh, and took something with them, whether it is your heart or your peanut butter. I don't know. Somebody took something. Let's see what we've got here. For the week, we've got the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, Somebody did move away. The, six, the King of Swords and the Five of Swords, Sagittarius. What's changing in your life that you feel like someone owes you an apology? Maybe some harsh words were exchanged. This feels like it's a karmic relationship. Almost like it's a brother to a brother or a brother to a father, a father to a son. Something here, cutting words are being exchanged here. It feels very much like this is a cyclical situation between siblings, between a, a, a deeper family member, and one member of this family during this period has decided to leave a situation behind, move on, and find a new situation for that person. I think... At the end of this week, you may be struggling. Are you struggling between homes? Do you ask a friend for a place to live? Do you quickly find your own situation? Something has to change, and it has to change with a bit of a struggle. You may be uh, expected to leave your surroundings, uh, but there is a leaving, a moving behind. Uh, in one way or another. Maybe a wedge driven in a familial relationship. Again, a father, a son, brothers, sisters. It's extended situation that goes back maybe even generations. Definitely here carries the karmic element and that element is all saying it's time to break this cycle. For whoever this is talking to, it's time to break the cycle. The cycle is getting old. 
is the message that I'm getting here. Uh, for some of you, you've worn out your welcome in a living situation. Or someone has lived out a welcome with, uh, with you. Maybe someone's been living in your home for a very long time. And it may be time to tell that person that they need to move on and they need to move alone. It feels like you're throwing a 35-year-old son out of your basement once and for all. Someone is shedding some very old energy. That energy is definitely moving on for some of you during the week, whether it's a brother-in-law who hasn't had a job in 10 years or a son who does nothing but lay around, collect unemployment checks, and play video games. So you do have an element around you that feels like they've fixed themselves to your uh, furniture, and now it's time for the removal to begin for some of you. You can expect some struggle. Maybe someone will put up a fight. Uh, there is, um, <clears throat> I think for some of you, it really speaks more to the struggle uh, that you may have a finding a new place to go, a new work situation, a new car, in short order. Because something is just being deconstructed here. And I think that you feel like you're a remnant or something that's just being thrown to the side as if you don't matter. And you need to find a place to live quickly. Superbia, uh, the Dilaranti, and the Lanamica. Listen, somebody here, I'm getting a very strong indication that somebody comes here in a drunken state, tears up your home, or tears up their home, and they're asked to leave. It feels like it's a careless action by a careless person in a fit of a rage or a fit of being drunk, something gets damaged and you're being asked to leave the premises. Uh, it does feel like it could be major damage or someone is just throwing some upheaval into the situation and saying, hey, guess what, guys? I hold the lease and you guys are gone because I'm moving. So... It feels like everybody who is fitting in to this situation, it may be a family situation sharing a home, well, that home is going to be busted apart because the person who holds the lease, who holds the foundation, has decided to blow that foundation apart, if this is you. You're looking for a place to live during the week, and some of you are going to have a bit of struggle. Now, that's your week, Sagittarius. I'm going to go over to my Weebly website now, do a love reading. Maybe that connects in one way or another. Let's take a look. Over at my Vimeo channel, rather, is where, where you'll find the love reading. If you want a reading meant just for you, information is down below. Until the next time, Sedge, take care. Be well, and then until next week, you'll be okay. Okay? You'll be okay. Again, remember the message. There's a guilty conscience that needs to apologize here. Is that you, Sagittarius, or is that someone else? Think about it. Be well and peace.